The Sea of Stars Written by Beth Costanzo Narrated by Angela Olfast Animated by Satwinder S. Kang Chapter 1 Once upon a time, a sea star spent his days traveling across the ocean floor. At night, he observed the beauty of the sky, but all that changed one day. A fierce storm pounded the coast with violent winds. The sea looked angry. When he noticed the approaching storm, he hurried for safety, but he got tangled in seaweed. He was tossed this way. He was tossed that way. He hit rocks and was flung to the ocean beach. As he lay upon the shore, he realized one of his arms was gone. Sea Star was so frightened, he started to cry. Oh, my arm, said Sea Star. What happened? What am I going to do? He wailed. He cried harder when he noticed his skin drying out in the summer sun. When it was evening, he looked up, gazing at the splendor and beauty of the twinkling stars. Suddenly, he saw a shooting star setting the sky ablaze. Golden stardust fell gently to earth. His eyes gleamed with hope. Could I get my arm back? I know shooting stars carry thousands of wishes on their backs. He closed his eyes. I want my arm back and to look like all the other sea stars. I hope my wish will be granted. He also wished to be beautiful and shine as brightly as the stars in the sky. The next day, Seagull landed softly next to Sea Star. Seagull saw the tears in his eyes. Oh, please don't eat me, cried Sea Star. No, no, I promise I will not eat you. What's the matter? asked the seagull. I lost one of my arms, and the sun is drying me out, Sea Star said. Don't worry, I'm here now, and I will place you back in the water. That way, you won't dry up. Seagull picked up Sea Star and plopped He dropped him into the salty sea water. It feels good to be in the water again, said Sea Star. My skin is no longer drying out. His eyes glowed with happiness. Thank you so much for saving me, said Sea Star. But Seagull had already flown away. Chapter 2 Back in the sea, Sea Star swam across the ocean floor. As he traveled across the sand, he spotted a seahorse trapped in a fisherman's net. I can't just leave him there, thought Sea Star. I must save him like Seagull saved me. Let me help you break free, Sea Star told the seahorse. Sea Star used his arms and gently untangled the seahorse from the fisherman's net. Thank you so much for saving me, said Seahorse. You are welcome, replied Sea Star. I'm not as young as I used to be, said Seahorse. I could not free myself from the lines of the net. I'm glad I helped you, said Sea Star. A kind seagull helped me after I lost one of my arms due to a storm. I was drying upon the sand, but he picked me up and dropped me right back into the water. Wise Seahorse saw sadness in the eyes of Sea Star. He knew Sea Star felt different from other Sea Stars since he was missing an arm. You know, not all stars belong to the sky, Old Seahorse said. What do you mean? Sea Star questioned, wondering what Seahorse was talking about. I will tell you, said Seahorse. There are stars that fell from the sky and landed in the ocean. You, my friend, may have been one of them. You are as dazzling and special as the stars in the sky. In a year's time, your arm will grow back, Seahorse told him. 
I did make a wish upon a star. Do you mean my wish will come true? Asked Sea Star. Yes, it will. It's called regeneration. Any sea star has the ability to grow back parts of its body. You just need to be a little patient. More importantly, added Seahorse, it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside. It's what's on the inside that counts. You saved my life, and I am forever grateful. It's time to let your inner star sparkle. Thank you, said Sea Star, as tears glistened in his eyes. Feeling much better, he and Seahorse said their goodbyes and went their separate ways. Chapter 3 One Year Later Don't eat me, please, Sea Star cried. Don't be scared. I'm not going to eat you, said a seagull. Wait a minute. Aren't you the same sea star I plopped back into the ocean after that terrible storm last year? You look a little bit different, the seagull exclaimed with surprise. Oh, yes, it's me, sea star said happily. You are very special, said seagull. Do you know why this is so? Sea star shook his head, then said the first thing he thought, because my arm grew back? He asked. Well, that's one reason, answered Seagull. The other reason is even though you were sad and hurting, you still took the time to save a seahorse. We are friends. Seahorse told me how a sea star with a missing arm saved him. We have both been looking for you ever since. Just then, Seahorse came swimming by and saw his friends, Sea Star and Seagull. It was very brave and selfless of you to put my needs before yours, Seahorse said with a smile. You're amazing as the stars in the sky. I never thought of it that way, Sea Star said, and felt proud of himself. That evening, they noticed a bucket with a clamp over it. Inside were lobsters that had been caught. Sea Star felt bad for the lobsters. He heard their tiny cries. We have to save them, said Seahorse. Yes, we must. Quickly, before anyone returns, Seagull said. Together they rescued the lobsters and placed them back in the water. The trio then rested upon a rock. Look, the stars are shining, Sea Star exclaimed as he looked up at the sky. I see a shooting star. Let's all make a wish, suggested Sea Star. I wish we always help others, said Seahorse. I wish we always see the splendor and beauty of the earth, said Seagull. And I wish the three of us always stay friends forever, said Sea Star. This has been Sea of Stars, written by Beth Costanzo. Copyright 2019. Beth Costanzo. Narrated by Angela Olfest. The End. Please subscribe to my YouTube page for more fun videos. Scuba Jack. Come on, everybody, and follow me. From the beach to the culvert and the sea. It's time for learning. It's time for fun. It's a great adventure for Everybody and follow me. Jump and swim out to the bottom of the sea. It's time for adventure, fun, and learning. Scuba Jack. It's a shark attack. Yay! Hey everybody, it's Miss Beth from the Adventures of Scuba Jack. Please comment below and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video with activity book. See you soon.